Hello everybody, we are back here on the channel and we have finally got a release date for Way of the Hunter. And it's a lot sooner than we would have expected with the release date being August 16th. This is absolutely incredible news and I will be playing the brand new trailer in the background as we talk about everything because there was a new trailer released alongside this announcement of the release date of it. Which by the way, 7 weeks until this game releases, that is so much sooner than I would have expected. I was really expecting a November or December release, but it is much closer than we thought. And that is going to be just incredible. Now, they are going to let you guys pre-order this game starting now. So if you wanted to pre-purchase the game, it is $39.99 USD on Steam. And I'm assuming it'll be the same on all other platforms as well. Because it is going to be on Xbox and PlayStation, or I should say the PlayStation 5 and the uh, Series S and X for the Xbox. So it's not available on last gen consoles, but it is on the current gen. But you are able to pre-purchase it now. And there also is an Elite Edition that will include a Season Pass as well as some special things. And also, if you guys pre-order, it does say that a shotgun with engravings, a paint job for your car, and a wooden carved Mouflon statue for the Lodge will be included in your pre-purchase. And then if you do the Elite Edition, like I was mentioning, you get the Season Pass, which will include DLC for two new maps, which will be 64 kilometers each, or 64 square kilometers each, and comes with new animals, weapons, and weapon skins. This is pretty cool. I like that they're doing a Season Pass. Call of the Wild didn't ever do that. Um, games like Call of Duty have in the past where basically it's like a pre-order for all future DLC, or I guess all of the DLC that'll be coming out in that year. So it's just a way to save a little bit of money on the DLC if you're planning to buy them all anyway. It's one of those things where you might as well do the season pass, that way you don't have to pay quite as much as a whole. It is a little bit more upfront, but as I was saying, you end up saving more in the uh, long run. And right now it is 10% off, so I believe it's 40, 49, 49 for the uh, season pass. Or not season pass, but the elite edition of the game that includes the season pass. So this is uh, pretty good. I like it. I like that they're doing a season pass. But since we have this new information, I figured it would be a good time to go over some of the screenshots that they have been releasing over the last uh, couple months because they actually have released some new screenshots of the animals and I figured we could go over them now. A lot of people were a little bit concerned about how the elk looked because in the trailer they were kind of small. However, there has been an image released by the developers that actually showcases a much larger elk and it looks good. It looks really good actually. Might be one of the best elk racks I've seen in a video game. I'm pretty impressed by it. I can't wait to be uh, out there hunting them. Then we also have what looks to be an image of a wolf with a carcass next to it. Or I, I guess it's a picked clean carcass, but still one nonetheless. It's very cool to see something like that. Right here we have, I believe, a lodge? I can't actually tell. This is either a house or a lodge or something like that on the map. Looks pretty decent. I gotta say, I like the design of it and also the map that it's in just looks absolutely stunning. I'm curious which map this is going to be because uh, as of now I know there's a European map I believe and then also one in the US. I'm assuming this is the US map. It's hard to tell though. And then we also got a black bear by the water here which is really cool. The water actually looks very nice. Looks pretty realistic. So does everything around it. The bear models look pretty good. Something that I am a little bit curious about is whether or not we're going to get some changes to stuff like the mountain goats because they were a little bulky looking and a lot of people noticed that. So I'm curious if they will change that up in the future or if they're already changing it up because that was one complaint a lot of people including myself had with the uh, mountain goats in the game and a few of the other species they were just a little too bulky. Right here we have ourselves some type of cliff formation that looks pretty stunning. A lot of the map looks really nice from what they've shown. Pretty excited to uh, get a chance to explore this map whenever the game releases in August. Then over here we got ourselves a closer image of a whitetail deer. And though it may not be a perfect whitetail rack, I do think it's better than what we've seen in Call of the Wild and on par with classics. So I think it's going to be pretty good. They did make it so that the G2s are a little bit shorter than the rest of the times, which is typically how whitetail are. And also, I want to note that this is a 6x6, which is nice. It's good to see that they're not going overboard as far as I can tell. I'm assuming this is going to be a big deer. And so for it to be a 6x6, that's pretty nice. I think that's right in line with what a giant whitetail should be, or a, a, a typical at least. Obviously, if there's non-typicals, we expect them to be bigger than that. 
But for a typical, this is pretty solid. I think it's a decent whitetail rack. Not perfect, but good enough. And right here we have a stunning pheasant. I'm actually very impressed with the pheasants. They look pretty on par with Call of the Wild's pheasants. I think Call of the Wild currently has the best pheasants in a hunting game. And uh, these ones do look to be pretty much in line with Call of the Wild's. Maybe slightly less impressive looking, but still really good regardless. And then this final image we have is some type of statue on one of the maps. It looks to be a bear overlooking the forest. Pretty cool looking. Doesn't really show us too much of the, uh, the game itself though. Just kind of a, a cool little thing to toss in there. But that's going to be it for all of these images as well as the uh, new trailer and the information about the release date. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on whether or not you guys are excited for this, and I will try to respond to as many as I can. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!